AITA for telling my son that we don't really have any room for him right now so he needs to live with his dad and stepmom. My ex-husband and I divorced when my son was 10. My ex had found someone new. We went for 50-50 custody but he still had to pay some child support. I went back to school at that time. On the weeks his dad had him I buckled down and did nothing but schoolwork. When he was with me I made sure I had time for him before and after school. I did expect him to help around the house but nothing excessive. Mostly just cleaning up after himself and helping with cooking and laundry. His dad's house was more fun. I tried to make my home welcoming. I bought a used PS4 and I got fiber optic internet. It wasn't enough for him. When he was 14 he and his father got the court to award my ex primary custody. I did fight it but my son made it clear he would run away if I didn't give in. Counseling didn't help. I tried everything. It was devastating having my son decide I wasn't someone he wanted to spend time with. He started skipping visitation. When he did come he would leave the house and not come home until it was time to sleep. During this time I started a relationship with my current husband. He helped me through that. He wasn't on my radar romantically, nobody was, so he got close by being an amazing friend. I asked him out and we got married six months later. We had known each other since I went back to university. Six months after we got married I got pregnant. By strange coincidence so did the woman my ex was cheating with. Not the woman he left me for. A newer model. I had sold my house and my husband and I bought a condo together. Just a two-bedroom apartment with a tiny den. We made the den into a nursery and consolidated our offices into the second bedroom. My ex moved in with his new girlfriend and she isn't a fan of my son. His stepmother doesn't want him there if his father isn't there so my son is also in the new house with his dad. His dad's pregnant girlfriend and her mom. My son is 16 now and he called me to see if he could stay with me. I said I didn't really have any room. He asked me what I did with his room. He didn't even know I sold the house. He is very upset. He called me a bitch for not having a place for him to stay. I said he could stay in our living room on the couch. Not acceptable. I talked to my husband and we have enough money from the sale of my house and his old bachelor pad as well as our condo to buy back into the market. We were waiting for interest rates to fall, and we were going to move to a more reasonably priced city. I told my son if he could take the living room for now we could have a room for him in six months. He moved in with his grandparent. He isn't happy there. At least his dad got him a car so he can drive to his same school. My son is pissed that I prioritized my new baby and my work over him. I had no expectation to ever need to house him again. My ex called me and told me to make our office into a room for our son. I told him that our son's circumstances were his fault not mine. 